Hello, this is Stampy, and welcome back to my Let's Play on The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. I'm here in Kakariko Village, and I'm here because I'm going to try and continue doing the, the main quest. And it's been a little while since I did the, the main quest, so I will uh, forgive you if you forgot what was going on. I'll be honest, I a little bit forgot what was going on, but don't worry, <laughs> I've read up for, for what the <laughs> what the deal is. And if you remember, I went to uh, to, to Pura. Pura, 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 uh, the, the little lady who um, uh, helped me out with my Sheikah Slate and uh, allowed me to upgrade it so I had the, the camera. I looked through the camera and I found a bunch of old pictures that had been taken and uh, I need to, to find out the, the origin of them, when they were taken and kind of what's going on with them, what the deal is. So I need to, to take them to, to Impa, who I believe is the, the lady inside of, uh, of here in a Kakariko village. So that is exactly what I'm going to do right now. And here we go. Here is, uh, is Impa. Let's show her the, the pictures and let's try and find out what's going on. Hmm. <sighs> I heard Pura was giving you the runaround, but you seem just fine. Now then, let me see. Aha! This is without a doubt the camera that Princess Zelda used 100 years ago. It could be that you visit the locations within those pictures. You will be able to restore some of your lost memories. Come back here once you have tried going to at least one of those locations. There is something I wish to give you. Okay, so I've heard about this. So apparently like the, the memories, I think they're kind of like little cutscenes, like flashbacks to... To, to times long ago. I don't know if Link's actually going to, to be in them or whether it's going to be kind of just Zelda's memories, but very interesting. So let's have a look at the pictures then. Let's see if there are any of them that I think I know exactly where they are. So there's this, oh, this statue here. I mean, there's a lot of them that <laughs> look like I could. Oh, this one. So, I mean, that one is obviously right in front of the castle, but I don't know what in what direction. But this one here, you can see the uh, the peaks, like looking at it, the, the the jeweling peaks or whatever it's called. Maybe this is one that I would be able to to track down. So uh, let's go and uh, and have a look at the the map then, and let's see where those where those peaks are. Is that them here? Are the are these the peaks? No, that's not them. There is it further down here. There we go. These are the jeweling peaks. I mean, it could be like about here, the South Nabi River could be where it is let's just kind of let's just go to to there and let's see if that seems to to be a likely place like i don't know what i'm even gonna find them maybe i just need to to stand in the exact right place and then it's just gonna start like a, a cutscene or or something i don't know if there's gonna be something visibly there other than the fact that the place looks really familiar to be able to to work out if it is the the right place or not but yeah i guess i need to to track down all of these uh these different locations like there's not many really like obvious landmarks apart from like the statue of the horse a lot of them are just pictures of scenery and a lot of the, the areas i've been to have some relatively similar looking scenery like with the the green hills and the trees and stuff like <laughs> i mean there's a lot of variety in the the game but there is quite a lot of familiarity as well isn't there so let's go down to to this lake here then and uh, let's see if there's a view from down here with those mountains in the the background because there was water in the foreground and then those giant mountains in the the background it just could be the other side of those mountains which i need to to be or it could even be different mountains as well is a a very a very plausible uh um thing that could be the the truth but i'm going to quickly stop up here because look there's some uh, there's some chests down here there's some magnetic chests so like, well some metal chests so let's go and just grab them and uh, put them down on here is that one metal as well oh it is I can just drift uh, across the, the water here, grabbing all of these uh, these chests. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> Let's go and grab some goodies. I love the way me opening the chest kind of stops the, the raft from going. And oh no, have I got too many bows? I never have too many bows. I keep expanding the uh, the amount of normal weapons I can have. And I haven't really expanded bows in a while. So let's go and uh, uh, drop off some of these. And then I can go and grab this bow and all. 
There's a rock in the middle there. You don't think that's a Korok seed, do you? Maybe it's a Korok seed. I'm doing it again. I'm getting distracted. I always do this. <laughs> I always set out someone with a goal to do something, then immediately get distracted. But oh well, I was able to, to get good things. At least it was a, a good distraction. Do you reckon this is going to be a Korok seed? Yeah, it is. And I was able to, to grab myself a Korok seed as well. So even if I can't find any of these memory places, I still think this has been a, a rather successful time. But right then, let's, uh, let's have another look at that picture then and see what else is in the picture so there's a group of birch trees and then there's a ruin and then the mountains look quite far in the background let me just have a look at these mountains and see it is definitely those mountains so let's let's head in this direction of course trees might not be the the best way to to judge this because if it's a hundred years, there's a chance the same trees aren't there, but I feel like the trees are so obvious in the, the picture. If the trees aren't there, then that's just going to be really mean. And are these some snails? Oh, there are. There's some sneaky little snails sneaking around down in the water down there. Ha! I love the way they're sneaky snails. Like, have you ever seen a non-sneaky snail? That's a really difficult thing to say. Sneaky snail. Let's say, um, seven sneaky snails, seven sneaky snails, seven sneaky snails. Like, have you ever seen, like, a noisy snail? And what was that? Did you see that? There was well, something just, like, crashed down on the ground over there. No idea what that was. That was weird. Maybe we should uh, head in that direction. I don't know if that's related to, to kind of what we're doing now, but that was still very, very peculiar. But let's, let's kind of take this thing out. And then we'll have a, a turn around and we're, we'll see if I can, um, if I can work out that view anymore. So let's kind of, let's, I need to go further back. Let's go further back this way. And I want to, to line up and I want to make sure I am on the right side of these mountains. Because if I'm on the wrong side of these mountains, then I'm going to be doing this literally the opposite way. The reason I thought this way was because there's all the lakes here and the, the other side that had a, a swamp on them. And uh, the picture, it didn't look like it was a, a swamp land. It kind of looked like just greenery. So I do feel like this is the, the right way, but I can't be sure. Let's climb up on, the, on top of here and let's see if we can get a, a good view from the, the top up here. So let me go and uh, quickly climb up. I'm not going to risk jumping again because <laughs> I was running low on, uh, on stamina. There's not an enemy up here, is there? Oh, there's another boulder. Do you think this is a, another Korok seed or is this to attack something? It seems to be It seems to be wanting me to push it down here. Let's go and push this down. This might be another Korok seed. Oh, I think it is. I, th I think if the boulder rolls in there, I'm going to get another Korok seed from that. Okay, once again, constantly getting distracted, but hopefully for, for more and more good things. Like... I went for absolutely ages not finding any Korok seeds, but it now seems like everywhere I turn I get one. I probably have enough to increase my inventory now as well. I don't always know the amount you need because uh, uh, Hestu keeps kind of making it so you need more and more, but I probably can get another one. Right, so the lower one's on the left and has that little pokey out bit. So let's look at the, the picture and see if it seems to, to be on the, the right side. So yep, I'm definitely on the right side. I'm still too close though. So this is definitely the right bit. So there's a ruin, then more water, then it's on the other side. And see the way the hill kind of pokes up as well. That's something else I can look at. But I'm definitely still way, way, way too close. But I'm on the right area. I'm pretty sure I'll be able to, to track this down. I'm definitely on the, the right side. I don't know. Is this another Korok seed? I think this is another Korok seed here. I think this is one of the, the target ones, isn't it? Whenever you... Hmm. Whenever you see these things, it generally means there's a Korok seed. But I don't know... What do I need to do? Can you see any targets? I heard a sound there. I don't know if that was just the, the music. Is there is the wind going when I stand? And okay, the wind's just going anyway. See, they, these normally mean that there's a Korok seed nearby. And I can hear it. Listen, you can hear like the rattling. But I don't know what I'm supposed to, to do. You don't think I'm supposed to, to use a Korok leaf to, to blow this thing, do you? Is that making it spin any more than it was before? Let's kind of really charge this up and go for a giant one. Nope, that doesn't seem to, to be doing anything. I have no idea what I'm supposed to, to do here. I can't see anything to, to give it away. Okay, I don't want to spend too much time here, but there's probably a Korok seed there, but I don't know how to, to find it. I don't know, maybe it's one that I've already got, maybe. Maybe I've already got that one, and that's why I can't get it again. That might be a, a pretty likely uh, option. Anyway, let's keep heading this way. So I'm looking for the results. Do you think they're the ruins there? It could be that they're the, the ruins. I'm not entirely sure. Let's kind of turn around and look at these. I still think I'm way too close. I still think I'm way too close to it. And oh, look. 
and there's a shrine all the way at the, the top of them. I never climbed over them. I kind of went uh, around them rather than over them when I went to, to Kariko Village. So I've still uh, never been up to the, the top there. And let's... Uh, I was going to use a bomb to get rid of these guys, but let's uh, <laughs> let's just deal with them by by whacking them with uh, with this then, shall we? And uh, do you reckon I'm going to be okay swimming, uh, swimming my way across here? What's, what's that thing? You see that thing there? It looks like a big dragon thing. Anyway, once again, getting distracted. Focus on the memory. Focus on the memory. I said that today was going to be about kind of completing the, the main missions, and I am determined to, to keep that up. So that is what my my main focus is, uh, is going to, to be on. So I should be getting closer to the, the area. So the main things we want to look out for is those ruins. Those ruins should still be there in some way. Like, if you kind of look at it, there's kind of like a little window on it, though, isn't there? Like... If you look at it, there's... Where is it? This one. You can see that kind of window. That's what I'm really looking for. And then definitely the, the lake and then the, the birch tree. So there are some ruins here. I don't think these are the right ones. Oh, over there, look. You see that window there? I think that might be the, the window that you can see in the in the picture. Oh, look at these guys. I've got to do it. I've got to take them all out. Look, there's an explosive bomb right there. If I just throw this straight to that bomb, I reckon I can blow all of these guys up. They're just like surrounded by explosives, aren't they? Oh, no. I didn't get the... I didn't I didn't hit the, the explosives. Right. Let's just run in and throw it again and then blow it up. There we go. That is what I wanted to happen to have the, happen the first time. <laughs> Sadly, a bunch of them did still survive, but they are the, the really weak ones, so I shouldn't have any trouble. I've got to be careful, though. I need to I need to unequip anything metal. Is this only wood? Okay, that's wood. That one's okay. The bow is metal though, so I'm gonna have to, to switch to, to this bow. And what about the weapon? Oh, I think my my weapon is okay. So I should be I should be safe for, for lightning strikes for, for now. Uh, so let's just try and run in and take up this person. Unless I get hit by a random lightning strike, and that would just be very bad luck, but hopefully <laughs> Hopefully that's not going to, to happen. See, this is like, this is the area near the Great Plateau. So I think a lot of the stuff I might find here isn't going to be like particularly amazing things. Just because this is like the the really early points of the, the game. So I'm not expecting to, to find anything uh, amazing here. But I should hopefully be able to, to find the, the memory. The rain isn't going to make it easier to, to track it down though, I will be honest. <laughs> this uh, this isn't going to make it easier when I'm trying to see the, the perfect view and I need to look through all of this fog and rain but it looks like it's not going to rain for for too long you can see at the, the bottom of the screen that little map it looks like we're we're due for for sunshine uh, sunshine shortly so <laughs> don't need to, to worry about the the rain for for too long right then so that's that window that i saw that's kind of the the most obvious landmark I don't know if it's the same one though it kind of it does kind of look like it lines up but i need to find that lake and ah this might be the lake here. Let's go and head to the, the other side of this lake. And let's see if I'm going to be able to, to track it down. Oh, oh no, maybe it's these ruins. Look, there's more ruins here. And it kind of looks the, the same with that same type of window. So it really, it really could be any of these, to, to be honest. It's just hard to see with all of this, um, <laughs> with all of this rain absolutely everywhere. Let's, let's climb to the, the top of here and then let's turn around. And uh, let's kind of compare the, the views and see. Do you reckon this is right? I think I still might need to be a little bit further away, you know? And whoa! That tree just got struck by lightning. It just completely fell over. I'm just, I know I haven't got any metal stuff on me, but it's still scary. I wonder if you can just kind of completely randomly get struck by lightning. Like, it would make sense. Like, it would make sense in the, the game. People do just get struck by lightning. But it, you wouldn't half feel unfair if you got <laughs> taken out by being struck by lightning and there was nothing you could uh, you could do about it. <laughs> I mean, I'm trying to find this. I have a tree. I think another tree just got taken down then. So I'm trying to find the view, but I can't see because of all the rain. Let's go and uh, let's go and check the the picture again and see if we can um we can work this out. So it's that big lake that I'm not seeing. Maybe we should check the the map. Oh, I haven't filled in this area yet. I haven't filled in. So this area to the the left, I haven't filled in, which isn't going to make it easier to to be able to to work out where the the lake is, just because I can't see the the lake on the the map. So where is the the nearest tower? There's a few kind of ahead of me. I don't know which ones for this area. I'm assuming it might be that one there. That one kind of looks like it's in the the same area. So let's go and mark that one on the the map because we're probably going to want to to fill that in at some point anyway. So I'm pretty certain I'm in the the right general area. I can't see any birch trees around here, and I can't see the, the big lake. And I feel like if I go too far in that direction at all, wait a minute, there are some birch trees over there. I'm just worried that I'm getting too far away from it. 
And that's the thing that's worrying me because I don't want my my view to be blocked by all of these hills here. Because it didn't look like in the, the picture that the, the view was blocked too far. But let's go and uh, carry on heading uh, in this direction. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to speed up the, the video until I think I've kind of arrived in the, the right general area. And uh, we'll see if we're going to be able to, to track down this memory. Okay, what do you think of this place here? I can actually see now, for, for starters. This is going to make it easier. And ah, this is looking pretty promising. I can see that ruin there. Where are the dueling peaks gone, though? Or where... Have I gone too far? Can I even see them anymore? <laughs> I don't know if I've gone too far in the, the other direction to not be able to, to find it. There's another tower down that direction. Whoa! Who did that? Come on, own up. Who threw that? <laughs> and oh, oh, there's the dueling peaks. How did I not see them? I think that's it. I think that's it there. Look, look, look at this. Look, there's the dueling peaks. There's the, the river. There's that thing. Okay, in the picture, there's not this guy throwing stuff. Can I see if I can knock this the whole way back? Do you reckon I can knock it from that far away? I think that might be a little bit too ambitious. Let me, let me see if I can line this up perfectly. I need to go forward a bit. And no, that's not going to happen. Let's just use a, an old-fashioned arrow, shall we, when he pops up. And fire! Okay, let's just ignore him. <laughs> we don't need to, to deal with him for, for now. And ah, do you think this is the bit of land? Look, we've got birch trees, water, ruins, mountains, little poke up of land. <laughs> I think this is it. I think we're we're in the, the right area. I can't see anything. Oh, ah, look at the ground here. I think this has to be it. Let's look at that. Yep, this has to be it. 100%. 100%. Let's go and uh, recall, I guess. And let's find out the, the memory of when Zelda took this picture, I guess. Yep, that's definitely the, the right picture. I'm in the, the exact right place. So let's travel back in time 100 years to find out what happened here 100 years ago. I'm assuming that I had to be there, yeah, because it's my memory, isn't it? From here, we'll make our way to Goron City. Then, we'll need some adjustments on that divine beast so Daru can manage it as easily as possible. He's figured out how to get it to move. However, it's apparent that we still have much more to learn. But to think, that divine beast was actually built by people. That means we should be able to understand how it works and how to use it to our advantage. These divine beasts, so much we don't know. But if we want to turn back Calamity Ganon, they're our best hope. Tell me the truth. How proficient are you right now, wielding that sword on your back? Legend says that an ancient voice resonates inside it. Can you hear it yet, hero? That's the Master Sword. Apparently you can get the, the Master Sword in the, the game, but you need to be really strong in order to, to be able to, to get it. So that was kind of Zelda and, uh, and Link talking about how to, to defeat Calamity Ganon. And I guess that... They had pretty newly discovered the, the Divine Beast, but hadn't actually used them yet. It is always a little bit odd how, like, Link just stands there and, like, Zelda's, like, speaking to him or, like, anyone. <laughs> like, he just doesn't say anything. She's like, how good are you at wielding the sword? And he's just like, hmm. Yeah, you know, he just doesn't say anything in return. <laughs> it would be really weird with uh, with Link talking back, though. I don't know. It's just, I'm just so used to it being this way. I would find it really odd if... You know, Link suddenly went, Oh, well, you know, I'm getting my training done. But, you know, it's quite a heavy sword, to be fair. So it's hard to lift it up, let alone swing it around. You imagine what it's like, you know. like <laughs> It would be odd if uh, if he started doing that. And whoa! Oh, dear! Oh, dear! Oh, dear! Oh, dear! Oh, oh what's going on? Ah! <laughs> um, okay. I didn't realize that this was going to happen. I thought this might be a Korok seed over here. Oh, no, it's destroying my sword. Whoa! That was one of my best swords. I just got broken away by this. Maybe using, do you think using a hammer would work well against this? I feel like it would work well against stone, wouldn't it? But uh, it's pretty weak. Let's, let's, uh, well, let's just use the the hammer and let's save the um, 
my other weapons for for something else. And oh no, it's just launched me off. Right, the stone talus. I guess we need to, can we Can we get back on top of it? I wonder if I can climb up it. And oh, what's going on? Oh, I can't even see anything. Can I, can I climb it? I can. Okay, let's try and get back on its, uh, its back and try and finish this thing off. That was <laughs> really, really unexpected. I have seen these before, but just in like videos and screenshots and stuff of the game. I've not actually faced one of these yet in the, the game. I guess that they're just kind of just random rocks in the world just lift up and then this happens. <laughs> I should probably have something to, to eat. I made loads of, uh, of things to increase my strength and stuff as well. So this might be a really good time to, to do it. So let's go and uh, have this, get my health back up, and it's also going to increase my my attack damage. Maybe I should have probably had this once I was already on his uh, his back, but it lasts uh, two minutes or so, so I should be uh, fine enough to... Uh, yeah, this should uh, last for the, the rest of the, the battle. But anyway, let's get back on the, the top, and let's get whacking away. There we go, that's doing not a crazy about more damage, but definitely a little bit better. I think he's going to probably knock me off once more, uh, but then if I jump back on, uh, I should hopefully be able to, to finish him off, off that time. So let's maybe use a slightly stronger weapon. Let's use this uh, this boomerang then. So I got this um from one of the, the enemies fairly recently, and I've not had a chance to, to really try it out yet, so let's dodge him for a while. I need to get my stamina back. I keep forgetting I need to have my, my stamina to, to be able to, to climb up him, but there we go. I got up him pretty fast there, and let's use this weapon. Whoa! One hit! One hit, and then he was completely taken out. I guess this uh, this boomerang <laughs> is pretty powerful by the looks of things, and whoa! Look at all the good... I got a diamond! They're worth so much money, and I really want money right now, because I need to save up 3,000 rupees in order to be able to, to buy my house. And how much do I have already? I got 1,900. So, okay, I still got like a thousand more to, to go pretty much, but I'm getting there. I am getting there. So, <laughs> yeah, I definitely need to, to, to kind of build up uh, a bigger supply of them. But there we go. I was able to to get the, the first memory and uh, Impa said I needed to, to bring it straight back to, to her. So as soon as I've found the, the first one, uh, let's bring it back to, to her, find out some more information. But what I really think I should do now is just completely study all of those pictures. Just completely learn everything that's in them. And then when I'm kind of just exploring the, the world anyway, I've got a good chance to, to find them. And if I end up not running into them, then I can kind of do what I did here and really just look at what's in the, the background and the, the surroundings and track them down that way. But I think I should probably wait until I've just explored more of the world anyway, because then I have the towers, I can look at the, the map, because I reckon a lot of these places I'd be able to work out by looking at a map by saying right there's woodland there there's you know a lake here that's where the castle is I should hopefully be able to to work out quite a lot of them that way uh, and I think that's going to make it much easier so I'll probably wait until I've uh, cleared a few more of the the towers before I go full-on memory hunting uh, I guess <laughs> anyway uh, let's go and take this uh, back to, to Impa and uh, she uh, see what she has to, to say about it now that you have seen some of the princess's memories, you must have started to remember certain things. Here, I will hand this over to you now before I forget. A champion's tunic. An anci uh, and in ancient Hyrule, uh, this garment could only be worn by the one who has earned the respect of the royal family. Equipping it will reveal an enemy's life gauge. Uh, this is something of yours that I have been keeping safe by request of the princess. This clothing was specially made for you when you became a champion. Please handle it with care. Why isn't it green? Surely it come. Surely it should be green. <laughs> it uh, seems to be uh, pretty good then. So it's 15 defense. That one is okay. It's only the the same defense as I had. And am I being crazy or didn't it? Didn't it, like, show you how much health they have anyway? I'm pretty sure all of my armor shows how much health they have. Isn't that just, like, a thing in the, the game? I realize I've still got really rubbish trousers, by the way. I really need to, to upgrade my, my trousers. I do feel like one of the uh, the areas that I've been really lacking has been my armor. And there's kind of two ways you can either go about it. Uh, either getting better armor uh, or by upgrading your armor from the, uh, the Great Fairy Fountain. And speaking of the, the Great Fairy Fountain, uh, that's where I'm heading to uh, now. She's just kind of right up here behind this uh, this shrine. I want to try and catch one of the fairies as well because there's normally a bunch of fairies that are kind of roaming around here. And fairies are amazing. I mean, fairies are just amazing in general, but in this game, uh, it means that when you get taken out, they kind of bring you back to, to life. So having a fairy would be amazing. Sadly, it looks like there's uh, not particularly many. Oh, here they are. They are here. Did I get one? Oh, no, I got a blue nightshade. That's not a fairy. Can I grab this one up here? Oh, don't fly away. Oh, too slow. Too slow. No fairies for, for me. <laughs> I'll come back and, uh, and try again another time. But anyway... 
Let's see if I can, uh, let's see if I can upgrade my, my new clothing. Because at the moment, it does the same defense as everything else. But let's see if I can, uh, upgrade this one. It looks like I can. All right, let's, uh, enhance the, uh, the champion's tunic then. All right, let me do my thing. So I don't know if this is just going to put the, the defense up or if it's going to add anything else to it. But having high defense would be absolutely uh, amazing. And I think that's what it said. I think it did say that it's got better defense. So that's uh, that's pretty good. Uh, only if you wear the whole set and have the set as a bonus. So yeah, if I have the, the full set, uh, I'll be able to, to upgrade it a, a little bit later on. And uh, yeah, apparently there's more fairy fountains in the, the world as well. So if I track them down, I should be able to get even more upgrades and hopefully survive a little bit longer than I am right now. So there we go. 18 defense. That is definitely uh, better than the, the 15 that I had uh, before. And also upgraded everything. I've upgraded all of my armor. So... I guess it really makes no difference then, does it, what armor I'm wearing? But I'm going to wear the champion's one because I am the champion. <laughs> oh dear. Anyway, that is the, the end of this episode here. So the next episode, I'm going to be exploring the area, filling in more of the, the maps, and also, where I can, trying to, to track down some more of these memories because that does seem to, to be uh, the, the main thing that I, uh, yeah, that I need to, to do right now. But for now, I want to thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you all later. Bye!